The escalating violence in Gaza is raising tensions across the entire region today. Today, the White House pointed the finger directly at Iran after an American warship was forced to shoot down multiple drones that were targeting various commercial ships in the Red Sea. CBS' David Martin is at the Pentagon with new details. The Iranian-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen had already hijacked one commercial vessel in the Red Sea, and now they have attacked three more, hitting them with anti-ship missiles. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. That attacks on commercial shipping in international waters are totally unacceptable and have to stop. The Houthis had vowed publicly to attack Israeli shipping, but none of the vessels hit on Sunday had a current Israeli connection. It goes to show you the level of recklessness that the Houthis are, are operating on. Sullivan blamed Iran as much as the Houthis. We are talking about the Houthis here. They're the ones with their finger on the trigger. But that gun, the weapons here, are being supplied by Iran. Three Houthi drones flew toward an American destroyer in the Red Sea, which had answered the distress calls from the ships under attack. The USS Kearney shot the drones down, even though it was not the intended target. If left unchecked, uh, this could get more serious and uh, more prevalent. Retired Admiral Jamie Fogo says, with one carrier task force in the Mediterranean and another in the Persian Gulf, the U.S. has more than enough firepower with which to retaliate. Taking out the missile prior to hitting the target and taking out the launcher, we're perfectly capable of doing that. A U.S. official tells CBS News the Pentagon is considering striking targets in Yemen, but warns that would only give the Houthis exactly what they want, which is to provoke a wider Middle East war. There was one retaliatory strike in the region this weekend when a U.S. drone killed five Iraqi militants as they were preparing to attack American troops. Nora? David Martin, with all that new context and reporting at the Pentagon, thank you.